What's up guys, welcome back to the Legacy Challenge. My Legacy Challenge, this is episode 14. I am freezing cold because my heat isn't on, because I'm, I've been recording, and yeah, yeah. So, uh, that baby is so pale compared to them. I was having an issue with the score sheet. <laughs> and if you've done the Legacy Challenge, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is right. Okay. So, they're the second generation, right? Because I had them as the first generation. And yes, I moved them around a little bit. Um, because, <laughs> for some reason, when I put Savannah in, it kept saying she was not eligible. And I'm like, what the fuck? Why? And then I realized that I had it that they were first gen. And that can't be correct. Because if they're first gen, that means that they're related to Lino and Noel instead of being the children of. I finally changed it so that Gino's mother is Noel, even though she didn't give birth to him and he's adopted that's still his like adoptive mom even though it doesn't say it in the game but whatever um so now i think it's right gino is not eligible at all um and potential role for savannah is potential heir and the legacy role potential heir um i have already randomized her future stuff on the site so um sometimes it'll pop up as a male but that doesn't really matter unless they're adopted um, her her first trait is gonna be a geek, and her child aspiration is should be rambunctious scamp, because as you see, I put her parents' information in there. Um, then when when it's t when in this episode, our little man's aging up, so we're gonna have to put his trait in here, even though she's not his mom. Um, well, we're gonna take hers out actually because he doesn't have a mom. We're just gonna use his. Or we might not use any. I don't know if it'll work like that, but I'll, I'll test it and see. Um, so we already know that she's going to be a geek and a rambunctious scamp. So that's her, po her that's her potential. Because I believe she gets to age up as well. Um, and I think I read the rules and it says after three sim days. I think she's been around for about three sim days. Um, I'm not sure, though, if it's been three sim days. But today is Gino's birthday. Not, like, technically in the game, but to us, it's his birthday. Um... He was a good daddy and woke up with the baby and let and let mommy sleep like a good man would. I'm gonna have him cook some scrambled eggs. Also, in between this part and the last part, I went and I found the perfect place for um for Noel to go to work. Oh, I'm so in love with it. It's such a beautiful place. Just wow. And then I also looked up how come cooking is involved. And Zerbu said it on his Tumblr that it's just in the beginning stages. So, um, I mean, I really don't want her to cook. But if it's part of the thing, I'll let her cook. I don't really want her to have a cooking skill. But I, there's really nothing wrong with it, I suppose. Um, but, yeah. So, made a new good friend. Well, that's good. Um, he's... Wake your little ass. I, I was just about to wake you up, boy. You just you just know me. Brush your teeth, sis. I also, um, in between this part and the next part, I'm going to give him a makeover. So Unless I age her up in this part, then I would just give her a makeover and him a makeover at the same time. And then you guys will end up seeing it. You burnt this, but it's still excellent. Excellent. Oh. Um, I think you can get up now. Use the bathroom. You want to brush these nasty teeth because you just was sleeping. Come sit down. He always goes in his room. Like, he don't want to be a part of anything. <laughs> so today, in this episode, like I said, little man's aging up today. Uh, he still has to go to school, though. There's no skipping school or going having a quote-unquote vacation day just because it's your birthday. Um, everybody's going to go to work. And we're going to go to work with... I really want you guys to see where she works now, but I really need to go to work with him so that um, we can push more towards a promotion than how slow he's going. Um, so I don't really know. That's complicated. What do you mean, boy? Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you see who is awake? Um, see if we can talk to Max. Alrighty, so yeah, um, I don't know who we're gonna go to work with today because of the fact that he needs his promotion. We're not gonna go with him. He needs his promotion 
and she's so close to her promotion and I really want to show you guys her her new um, her new work spot but it just doesn't I don't know which one we should go with so that's tough there's a plane going over my house she didn't have maternity leave thank you um so let's see what does she want to do finish a painting okay and play an instrument oh, okay that's that is artistic um, I was really surprised that, that uh, Savannah's stuff didn't come out for her to be anything artsy. Um, because her mom is just full of artsiness. Just full of artsiness. Um, Lena Holmesy. Uh -huh. We still need to go to the museum. I think we're going to go to work with her today. And then the next time we'll go to work with him. And hopefully he'll get his promo. What is wrong with you? Oh. Uh, You'll be all right. You'll be okay, boy. You be okay. All right, so this is the new place. Let me show you guys. It is so, I love it. It's so colorful, but it's just so artsy. Like, to me, arts, artsiness can go either way. It can go black and white like how the other place was, even though it just didn't have everything we needed. Or it can be very colorful. Because you, if you ever go to some museums or art showings and stuff like that, it can either be very black and white, everything's black and white except the paintings themselves, or it can just be a very colorful, vibrant place. And I saw this on the gallery and I just instantly fell in love with it. So this is it. There's a big kitchen down here. There's a place to sit. There's a bar even. Then you got, you know, you can paint. You got the bathrooms, which are even more colorful and gender oriented. Um, and then up here, you got another place that you can uh, eat and stuff. And uh, that's cool that there's lockers behind there. I just noticed that. More bathrooms, a little sitting area, and a photography area. And then you got, like, it's... And then another painting area with a workshop um, thing. It's just... They just thought of everything. And just, you know, little little decor items and things like that. Um, I hope actually no random sims come and try to, like, take this. Um... I love this place. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, I can't remember who this belongs to. But I will figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it's it's like if you go, if you have Zerbo's mod and then you go to lots and then you pick the lots like art studio and then um, you most popular, it's like in the first row. I think it's like the third one or something like that. But let's get on with this. So we're going to brew some coffee. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and view some art. So let's uh, let's view a piece of art while we drink our coffee. She looks very artsy. I need to change her work outfit because I don't like it. I'm glad I found a woman with lots of tattoos and I didn't have like a plain Jane woman with no tat. I like all the tattoos on a girl. I think I don't think tattoos on a woman is is you know pretty um you know sexy and everything. All right, <laughs> I mean. You don't have to have tattoos for me to date you. I'm just saying I like tattoos. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck is this? I think it's ugly. So two more pieces of art and we should be good to go. I'm not going to make another couple pot of coffee right now. We are going to paint. Um, We're just going to try something new. Come over here. What is that? Is that a space rock? Fascinating. I've never used the photography thing as like, I think I tried it once, but they did an amazing job. I love this place. I honestly do. I can't say it enough how much I love this place. Oh, I thought she, oh my bad. I'm gonna let her finish this. What do you mean? Plus, if she gets one more excellent painting, all we have to do is go to the museum. Which, I guess, in what I was reading on Zerbu's Tumblr, that eventually she stops coming here and she just starts going to the museum. Which I don't understand why, but, I mean, I guess we'll figure it out. I'm hoping for that promotion today. It looks like she would, she'll would get it. What the fuck? It looks like Gino, dude, no offense, Gino. I love you, little man, but it looks like he did that. Um, admire this. There we go. Because I didn't. I didn't. Where is. Uh, here goes a girl. Tell a story. Um, it just can't be a very long one. Uh, tell engaging story. There we go. 
So, so. Ah. So now, in order to complete her aspirations, I believe. Oh, no, we have these ones. Okay, well, this is going to be done, and this will be done quickly. So, we're almost done with her aspiration, and she's not even dead yet. <laughs> so. I, I think, I'm thinking about taking her out of the world and bringing her back uh, later on for one of our male heirs in the future. But maybe not. I don't know. Oh, they're not getting along. That's good because, um, you know, she was potentially going to be the man. It's a um, future um, thing. Tell a dramatic story. Are you telling a dramatic story? That's not telling a dramatic story, Noel. I need you to tell a dramatic story. Okay, that's an engaging story. <laughs> I said. I hope this is a good story she's telling. Oh, I gotta tell a story five times. Duh, hello, Jay. I was like, why isn't it checking off? Like, I'm telling stories. Um. Tell a dramatic story. Tell a funny story. Uh, <laughs> uh. Alright, we'll just let her tell these stories. Keep up the good work. He was one of the top students. That is my fucking boy. <laughs> oh, y'all must be BFFs because y'all both got orange hair. Um... I'm gonna have to tell another story they already told. Tell a group story. Tell a fairy tale about an enchanted snake. Oh, I don't think she'd like that much. Uh, oh, y'all both just gonna leave when I'm trying to tell a story? Who are you talking to, might I ask? Excuse me, I need to tell you a story because I only need to tell one more story because it's part of our work. One hour? What? Man. View a piece of art. That sucks. That just went by so fast. Well, I hope we get a promotion. Quit talking to her because you're taking too long to do things. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Time's up. No, come on. I uh, I need to see if that guy updated the twelve hour one because like that took forever like to get through all those stories and stuff. Or right, maybe I just need to focus on doing things I know I can do quickly like painting and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. She didn't make that much money either. Hmm. That sucks. One hundred and four simoleons. But didn't she make like two hundred and something the last time? Like I'm a little confused. But okay. Maybe it was because on the little meter thing, she didn't reach, like, the money part to make enough money. Yeah, because her performance went down. Fuck me. That's bullshit, because, like, that shit takes forever. Mm. I'm going back to work with her again, and I'm going to get this shit settled. Sell these. Contribute to... Oh, wrong one. Contribute to the household. Level 10 mental. So once you finish your homework... What? Can you just use the bathroom? Shut the fuck up. I'm irritated. <laughs> I'm so irritated. But I guess it's the challenge of the game. I think if we go to work with her, we can actually get her a promotion. So I might focus on that a little bit. Mentor someone in painting. Nah. Shamanaya. Breastfeed. Bounce. Kuat. Make silly face. Cuddle. Um. Good job, buddy. Um, 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 experiment, and then, uh, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. Alright, so I brought her to Oasis Springs to come to the museum because I really want to finish, um, this is a beautiful museum. I really want to finish her, part of her aspiration, so we had to come here to, uh, to view some art, right? That's all we have to do is view three pieces, three Oh, paintings. This is a statue. So, that shouldn't count. Where is the paintings at around here? These are all statues. 
Oh, well, there's a couple paintings. What kind of museum doesn't have paintings? There must be one over here. Oh, nope, there's not. I don't know what she was looking at. All right, come over here and view this. And then there's the other one. Well, at least we got his money. Shit. He must have had a good day at work. I don't, I, I don't. It seems like the job performance isn't like, it doesn't go up like it used to. I feel like they like changed it or something. Come on now. Ain't this a piece of art? <laughs> so I gotta view the same damn art. There's no more art in here. Like no more paintings. I mean, this is a beautiful museum, but like, damn, where's all the paint? Um, here's one. I'll view this one. I don't want to view the same ones over and over again. <laughs> I know it's, it's it would be easy to just do it. There we go. So we need to complete five masterpieces, which actually should be pretty easy. Who is this? Where's your pants, sir? Don't I work with her? Well, it doesn't Noel work with her. Are you a teenager by any chance? Because our son, no, he's a young adult. <laughs> it seems like they both like art. So maybe they could be friends. Uh, sorry guys, I'm trying, I'm thinking. I think we could do this. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to find the one where she mentors. Whatever, I'll do this one. Girl, I'm trying to help you with them skills, feel me? Admire. Alright, there goes that. Can you give me the one where I mentor someone? We already have an Isu. Um, let me discuss compliment art. Um, discuss color theory with her. Let's invite her to our. Oh, uh, that sucks for you. Our club requirements ain't ain't shit. You just really gotta have um. The cr oh, she doesn't have the creative trait. Maybe I should change that. Cause no, cause I mean, if you go, if you a paint, you like painting, you gonna have the, the creative trait, right? That should be how it goes. Um, discuss favorite artist. Um, let's talk about art. She seems to like art though. That sucks. She doesn't have the creative trait that she needs to get into our club. Cause we do need to invite more people besides just our son. You already have one. I'm not gonna buy another one. Oh my god! If the same ones don't quit popping up, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm okay. I'm done. I'm. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Care for self. Um, I need you to build your mental up, still, dude. Is she your friend? Yay, they're friends. Okay. Let's get to know her. Um, where's get to know? Get to know. Why are you talking about a vacuum, Noel? She's hot headed, so we don't want to piss her off. Um, uh, propose crazy scheme. Um, uh, where'd it go? I can only get to know her one time. <laughs> um, where's the share interests? Discuss interests. Can I have this? All right, let's head home. It's getting late. Okay, guys, so it's late for them. It's four o'clock in the morning, but for some reason when she came home, everybody was like wide awake. She's tired now, but um, we're just gonna do this really quick. And he's been taking a nap on the couch, so he should be okay by the time it's time for him to go to school. Get your butt up. We're gonna let him age up because it's his birthday. And I don't, I mean, technically it, yesterday was, but sh he doesn't know the difference. Come on, blow out them candles, big boy. Oh, duh, I didn't tell him to. 
There we go. Uh oh. Okay. So I will be right back. All right. So here he is. Uh, he's all grown up. <laughs> he's all. He's basically a grown man. I mean, look at him. Damn. Look at his like collarbone. Like shit. <laughs> Defined as hell. Um, I just dressed him. I don't know. I just dressed him like. Damn. Okay. I like them sneakers. I don't know where I got them though. Um, I just changed his hair, his clothes. I love the shirt because it's like slim to the side, and then it's like slanted, and you can kind of you can see his belt. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see something real quick though. Let me have his. Let me let his parents go to bed. His his mom's tired. Does it say that she's his sister? Oh, I'm like, daughter, huh? Yeah, sister, okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all. This is formal. This is just one of the ones you can get from the styled looks. This is party wear. I don't know, I really wanted to wear the drop pants, but I couldn't really find a shirt, so I just let him be one, you know how them, how these teenagers is out here. They, they don't match 100%. He look fly as shit, though, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. It is sleepwear. Why you got, I did not tell him to put glasses on. I don't know why they're on. Okay. Swimwear. Is, yeah, swimwear is boring. And athletic wear. I think he looked dope as shit. Those shoes don't really match, but I liked them. You know, he looked dope as shit. He actually came out with a really nice body, too. Like, he's, he's slim. Kind of tone, you know. Caramelish. You know. I ain't give him no facial hair. Baby face. That's how we gonna do this thing for a little while. Until he grows up. You can, uh, you can put that away until, until I don't know when. All right, and now it's uh, it's time for him to go to bed. Well, I'll actually let him go pee first. I can't believe he's a teenager. Oh, 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 his traits. I randomized them, and I forgot that I had, like, um the mod in so I could have a whole bunch of traits. So it made me add, like, five, but I took that, that mod out. And so his trait, his new trait is outgoing. And as you see, Muser, because when I randomized it, he got best-selling author. So we'll focus on that while he's a teenager. Um, he got kicked out of the, Advent the Adventurers Club, like I said, because he's too old, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so now he has to find a new club. Um, there is no teenager club, no teenage clubs. Um, let's see something. He's still... He only has charisma, which kind of sucks because he put, he hit his mental. He maxed out his mental. So I don't know why it's not coming in here. He did max out his mental though. So I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have her come up over so like we can age her up. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's not nothing's in here oh not in here but in here for that for his mental half sister not even technically really because he's adopted <laughs> but uh yeah i don't i'm not sure why i didn't put it because he did he maxed out his mental i gotta put that on the score sheet though Kind of bizarre to me that it didn't say that he maxed out his mental. I mean, it didn't give him that extra little thing, but I'm putting it on the score sheet because he did max out his mental. He didn't max out his motor or creativity, but that's fine. You know, that's fine. That's not really a big deal. Um, she maxed out her painting, and Lino hasn't maxed out anything yet. Surprisingly, he just has so much going on. Um, she is depressed as shit. Um, he's hungry, but let's see, bottle feed, cuddle. It's it's uh it's about her birthday too, I think. But that'll have to be in the next episode <laughs> because no more birthdays. No, no more, no more birthdays, guys. No more, no more birthdays. No more, no more, no more birthdays. No more birthdays. I just I don't want no more birthdays. Um. 
Oh, you gotta go pee anyways. Good for you waking up. And you gotta go to work, so. I'm gonna send her to work by herself today, I believe. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this part here because there's not much to do. By the time we get to work with them and finish the work, it's gonna be the end of the episode. Anyway, so in the next episode, probably gonna age up Savannah um, and maybe invite Danica over to age her up and such things like that. So, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters!